Tesla Model 3 owner reveals surprising LFB battery degradation after 110,000 miles. Hey, what's up, EV enthusiasts? Before we jump into today's electrifying discussion, make sure you're fully prepared. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and drop a comment below to share your thoughts. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on the juicy details we have for you today. So make sure you stick around until the very end. Let's dive right in. So, here's a story that might just surprise you. A Tesla Model 3 owner with an LFB, lithium iron phosphate, battery pack has driven an incredible 110,000 miles, and the results will definitely get you thinking about battery longevity in electric vehicles. Now, you might be wondering, how did the battery hold up? Well, despite being frequently charged to 100% using DC fast charging, the car's battery is showing minimal degradation, which is fantastic news for anyone considering an EV with an LFB battery pack. This particular Tesla Model 3, which was manufactured in Fremont, California, is equipped with an LFB battery, a type of battery that's known for being less expensive to produce and showing minimal degradation over time, even when consistently charged to 100%. This is a significant advantage when compared to the more commonly used NMC, nickel-manganese-cobalt batteries, which require more careful charging to prevent degradation. Now, it's true that LFB batteries typically have a lower energy density than NMC batteries, which means they usually offer less range per charge. But here's the kicker. Many EV manufacturers, including Tesla, actually recommend charging LFB batteries to 100% regularly, and that sometimes makes up for the slightly lower energy density. On the other hand, NMC batteries are generally recommended to be charged to only 80% for daily use, saving full charges for long trips to help preserve their lifespan. Interestingly, some studies suggest that charging LFB batteries to 100% on a regular basis might cause a bit more degradation, but this specific Tesla Model 3 seems to be defying those expectations. So how is this LFB-powered Tesla Model 3 actually performing in the real world? Pretty darn good, as it turns out. According to Brandon Kipp, the owner of this 2022 Model 3, the car has been nothing short of stress-free. It's been used extensively in ride-sharing services in Texas, so it's seen plenty of DC fast charging and has spent a lot of time navigating city streets. After almost 110,000 miles, the car's drivetrain is still original, with just minor replacements like tires and washer fluid. That's right, no major repairs needed, which is a huge plus for anyone considering the long-term durability of these LFB battery packs. Now, let's talk numbers. The Model 3 originally had a usable battery capacity of 57.5 kilowatt hours, and after all that driving, the battery degradation is impressively low at only 5%. That's right, just 5%. The car's maximum range was initially 272 miles on a full charge, but after 110,000 miles, it now offers about 258 miles per charge. That's still a very solid range, and it shows how well the battery has held up even after extensive use. What's even more encouraging is that other Tesla Model 3 owners with LFB batteries have reported similar results. Some have experienced degradation as low as 2% after 20,000 miles and around 5% after 85,000 miles. This is fantastic news for anyone considering a Tesla Model 3 with an LFB battery, especially since these batteries are generally cheaper to manufacture than NMC batteries. This could make them a more affordable option for those looking to buy an EV without sacrificing too much range. Of course, LFB batteries might not offer the same range as NMC batteries, but they more than make up for it with their lower cost and minimal degradation over time. And let's not forget, Tesla recommends charging LFB batteries to 100% regularly to help preserve their lifespan, which has proven to work well in this case. Meanwhile, with NMC batteries, you'll want to be cautious and only charge to 80% during regular use, going to 100% only when you're heading out for a long journey. Now a quick bit of news, Tesla discontinued the LFB-powered Model 3 in the US market as of October last year. So if you're in the market for a brand new Tesla Model 3, you'll only find NMC-powered versions now. However, if you're considering a used Tesla or looking at the secondhand market, this LFB Model 3 could be a great choice, especially with the great performance it's shown after 110,000 miles. And there you have it, folks. 
This real-world test of the Tesla Model 3 with LFB battery is a pretty reassuring sign that these batteries are a solid choice for long-term EV ownership. Whether you're looking at a new or used Model 3, the LFB battery's minimal degradation could be a game-changer for you. Thanks for joining us today on this electrifying ride, EV lovers. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Keep those batteries charged, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more exciting EV updates from EVpedia.